We're trying to prepare the team. That's why uh, since uh, last December they've been training here in Subic to be able to know the conditions of uh, the wind conditions as well as uh, the current conditions. Normally, ang training namin sa Manila Bay, pero dinalan na namin dito sa sa Subic Bay ang training namin. Lahat ng gamit namin nandito na para sa preparation na talaga sa Seagins para ma-familiar natin yung yung venue dito sa Subic Bay. Ang training kasi namin dito ano eh. So 5 days a week. So napakahirap talaga. So at biruin mo araw-araw ka. Bibilad ka ng isang araw sa la sa laot. Siyempre mahirap talaga. 3 to 4 hours sailing and 1 hour takbo. Then hanggang ngayon, continue siya. Dire-diretso na ang Trida Sea Games. So one year preparation. It's a really good starting. So we've been training the race management team in match racing techniques. Obviously they're very experienced sailors, very experienced race managers. But match race organisation is a wee bit different. So we've been showing them the differences. And we've also been training up some of the local umpires. So that we're hoping in December when the Sea Games happens, then we'll have lots of local people with knowledge and experience and capability to take that on. Subic is perfect. We've had flat waters, we've had quite shifts, but that makes it challenging also to race and for the race management. That's why we have the three marks at the top so we can shift really quickly. Uh, I think the teams were really good, much better than I had expected. I think they could uh, beat many of the team races out of Hong Kong quite easily. We <laughs> have an advantage in the venue, we have an advantage in the boat. Yung ibang country, bibili pa lang ng, ng boat na to. Tayo meron na. So, yun yung nakikita kong ano, yung advantage natin sa iba. The, the most important thing is uh, the, the manner by which uh, you, you develop them. Uh, you have that kind of uh, atmosphere that uh, they want to be competitive. And then at the same time, uh, they're comfortable, they have the resources. Para sa kay Mr. Charles sa Standard Insurance, malaking pasalamat ng Philippine Sailing Team. Ibig sabihin kung wala talaga ang Standard Insurance, hindi namin maasahan yung tuloy-tuloy na training. Ang masasabi ko lang sa kanila is basta sumunod lang sila sa tinakda natin training program. Kapag ano, dapat confident ka talaga eh. Hindi pwede yung paano-ano ka lang na ano. Dapat sa lahat ng bagay, confident ka sa ginagawa mo. Focus lang sa training, tapos huwag malolo moral. Go lang. Sa mga team ko, galingan natin sa darating na SEA Games. Kaya natin to. When you're able to compete and win, then you, you gain respect. It's something which uh, they, they look forward to. And uh, for them to be able to reach that, then they have to be very disciplined in the manner of uh, training themselves. They know what is required. They know it. That's why uh, they're, they're very disciplined. They know it. They know that uh, they, they, these are the things that they have to do.